Hi, my name is Bob Grunia, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I'm here in Alan Goldwater's Magic Sound Lab, and what you're looking at here is his R20 Mizuno-style reactor, which has done many attempted runs with the palladium-coated meshes as described by Wantada Hako Mizuno. And this has been doing a number of calibrations over the last week uh, with some nickel basic nickel mesh that we got from Jed Rothwell like you can see over here and uh, uh, hydrogen and at the moment it's just completing its last cool down from a deuterium only no nickel mesh in there interestingly uh, there was a 10 degree differential when we took the nickel out but of course we did switch to deuterium instead of hydrogen um, so that's something to investigate later on down the line. So it has a heater coil on the outside here, two thermocouples, one here at the top uh, with a TIG welded support and another one here on the side there. And it's very, very stable, high vacuum. And that uh, has a vacuum gauge here and other pressure gauges here. And we have uh, this turbo molecular pump here by Agilent Technologies and a basic pump there and they couple together through a controller to provide the high vacuum uh, necessary and we have a bunch of valves here and some gas bottles under there so we can put in hydrogen and deuterium and then uh, it has uh, the LN7317 Geiger Muller tube there and the neutron moderated Bob Higgins style uh, device that Alan built and we have the lead cave there with uh, the scintillator in but we're not going to run it in this particular experiment likewise the X123 soft x-ray detector there is not going to be run but we are going to be using the uh, Octris which is here and that's pointing down at the cell like so so that's going to be a main component we will be using the Tektronix PA uh, 1000 power analyzer and also we have this Cirrus 2 uh, quadrupole mass spectrometer residual mass uh, gas analyzer here and that has a little capillary that goes through and allows us to sample gases from the reaction chamber so we can see for instance if any helium was made and so that is a very useful addition for this experiment. So this is the residual gas mass analyzer, Process I Professional software, uh, and there's nothing on there at the moment. And if we go over here, this is our Optris, and you can see that the temperature here is 39 degrees on the cooling down cell. And over here in the background, it's around about 20, 21 degrees for the ambient. And here is the modified instrument panel that was originally made by one Brian Alveston, thank you, uh, during the glow stick experiments. And that will be monitoring various temperature and input power, etc. aspects. So that is the Mizuno R20 experimental sort of overview and this will be running hopefully tomorrow and hopefully live. The meshes of Mi356 Thomas from the Czech Republic. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.